Hi, my name is Christine and today I wanted to share with you my favourite Christmas carol in scripture. There are so many carols that I love, but the one that I could listen to over and over again has to be O Holy Night. I just think the words and the music are beautiful. The carol is in one of my favourite Christmas films called Home Alone and I love the part where Kevin goes into the church and the choir are singing that carol. I love the whole film but the choir singing that carol is the part that I look forward to the most. The words in the carol are all about the night that Jesus was born, that the angels were rejoicing as the king came into our world. One of the lines that just moves me when I hear it is the start of the chorus. Fall on your knees and hear the angels' voices. O night divine, O night divine, when Christ was born. Why does that line stand out to me? Well, the only response I can have when I think of Jesus is one of worship, where I bow the knee, choosing a posture of humility, bowing low, and whether I'm physically on my knees or surrendering in my heart, that line always makes me choose to surrender and bow low. God went from being the all-powerful God to an all-dependent little baby born in a manger with straw. He was the creator of the world and then was created in human form as a baby. He created language so that we could speak and then he became a baby where he had to learn to speak the language that he had created. That is what God did when he sent Jesus into the world to die for our sins. And when I think of all these things that he has done, I am filled with awe and wonder and love for him that I must yield and bow the knee to worship the King because Jesus is Lord. One of the scriptures that I love is from John chapter 8 verse 12. Jesus says, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness but will have the light of life. At Christmas time, when I do reflect on Jesus coming to the world, this is always the scripture that comes to mind. Jesus brings God's presence. He brings hope, he brings protection and guidance, especially during this time when people are under great pressures and challenges, whether it's their health or their finances or their future. There is hope for you today for whatever challenge you may face because of Jesus. And I do pray that each one of you watching will make Jesus the light of your world. I'm going to finish off by praying now and then I'm going to play O Holy Night. So let's pray. Jesus, you are the light of the world and you're a light that can never be put out. We put our hope in you, we put our trust in you and we look to you. And as we come to you now in prayer, we do so on our knees. We completely surrender to you, Lord, and say, have all of us. And as we think now of the days leading up to the celebration of your birth, we do as the wise men did of bowing low, of saying, you are the king. You are the God who rules and reigns. In Jesus' name. Amen.